the Toddcast. Hello, my friends. We're here to talk about periodic trends. From the left to the right. Electrons hold on tight. And from the top to the bottom. More energy levels, they got them. Now we hope you'll learn a lot more about them. Krypton plus the Ike makes Superman lose his flight. But we ain't no Superman, just, just a, a couple, couple of kids rapping. Radius, the radius of the atom. When you put two together, you want to add them. When you go to the right, it's gonna be smaller. And when you hit the bottom, it'll be taller. Electric negativity. Desire to grab. Increase it to the right, you'll see it in the lamp. When you go to the top, the desire is greater. When you get to francium, don't be a hater. Ionization energy Try your both electrons and you'll see It increases to the right on the table And you wonder why? Because you're more stable The greatest shielding effect towards the bottom of the chart Electrons can be taken with ease for the sweet With all this info we sound really smart And not to mention when you rhyme like Mozart Reactivity. How likely an atom will react. Like when hydrogen and fluorine interact. It increases from the left to the right. And down the table, electrons give up a flight. But if you use some metals, iron, and titanium, the chances they react towards the left are premium. On the table, when you go up like a Pixar movie, the chances they react aren't as groovy. Now we have melting point. Solids change of state. Increases for a metal upper group. Now we wait. But if you use a non metal at the top of a group, it will decrease like the time of when you cook your soup. I just realized soup is very good, very delectable. Well, I really like the uh, Campbell's. I mean, I like chunky and alphabet soup. Is you know what I like? What? Lithium, sodium, potassium, and rubidium. Like a big scoop of ice cream, you get a W, neon, argon, krypton, and xenon. Some of the noble gases. Don't be a moron. So I saw a high school musical the other day for the first time. It was very good. Yes, it was. I learned something about Zach, actually. What's that, Brennan? Well, you see, Aprin plus an F and minus the run, the add a Z, and we get the number of protons, which is equal to the Z, the atomic number, minus the S, the nonvalence electrons. Oh, man. Brendan, that didn't rhyme. Ah, uh, bummer. bummer. We'll describe the magnitude of the electrostatic force between two electric charges. <laughs> Gosh, so much fun. <laughs>